Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Today I actually kind of want to talk about something called writer's block. Um, admittedly, you probably saw me lean back from starting the video. Uh, the, it's just because I had started a previous one and I mean, my computer's like over there, so I have to reach over there. I need to get a mouse. <laughs> anyway, um, writer's block is an interesting thing. I can actually relate it to it to a specific degree where, um, how do I word it? I've tried writing different stories or poems before. Some poems I've actually finished and I actually like the outcome. There have been some stories I've tried writing and I'll have the plot, the way I want the plot to go out beautifully. But then it'll come to like the in-between, the bridges, like everything in between, like how to get from point blank. How to get from this major event to this major event, what minor things have to happen in between to make that, those major things happen, and I'll just get stuck. For example, there was a story I attempted at writing at a point. This is the last time I actually attempted one before actually finalizing something else um, where the story was called Flows Like the Wind. And it was supposed to be about, like, the idea was like this war amongst a higher being and this individual's several spiritual sisters and or brothers. The reason I say and or, I never really came up with a finalized thing. The only thing I could really say is that throughout the story, I knew that I wanted to hint at like the f it was supposed to be a series of like four or five books that I had planned out. In the first book, the villain would show up, no name would be presented, no background was shown. Just a hint at this cloaked individual or this covered unknown individual would have a grudge and was trying to oversee certain smaller events on that part in that particular story play out, which they would have. Um, and the next story would have at least hinted at a name and a motive. That's it. Not even why the motive is there, just that's it. Third story would actually give the entire background to the villain, finally showcasing what's going on, and then the final one would be the actual events of the finalized battle, I guess you could say. This is kind of what was going through my head at the time. Then I finally started writing the original book, and about 200 pages in, that in-between bridge between one event and another, I got like this writer's block. I tried to get back to it at some point, but I could never think of anything. Heck, I even, I, I used to... I used to like go through the story hoping that the writer's block would be pa patched at some point. It never happened. Never. <laughs> like, I can come up with stories off the fly pretty easily, but I can't seem to fill in the blanks. Now, this is kind of just what I'm. Tr well, the reason I'm explaining all this is I'm trying to give the idea that I know how it feels to have writer's block. But. How much of a roadblock can writer's block actually be at times? That depends on the person. I think if it's for someone like Cassandra Clare or J.K. Rowling? Rowling? I've been told before what it is, but it's been a while. I think it's Rowling. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, or J.R.R. Tolkien, Stephen King, all these greats who seem to just spit out books every blank amount of time, as if they have no issue doing it. Um, that's probably bull, and they probably do have writer's block, quite frankly, but anyway, it's definitely not this bad. People like this, the fact that they're it's their job, and they're in a constant pattern of doing it perfectly, um, well, close to perfectly, I'm sure they have their own flaws that they don't talk about, because there's always that. 
they could probably give a better idea of what it's like to go through writer's block as being writers themselves. Me, if anything, I'm probably more of a poetry writer, if anything, and I rarely even ever do that. I've read, I've showcased one of the poems I've done on the channel before, I believe. I think the poem, if I'm correct, then the poem I showcased was a poem called uh, My Headache Has a Name. It was an inside joke, which I've talked about before. If I have, which I believe I have done so. Um, and kind of became a lengthy poem that seemed to be a lot more serious than I expected it to be. With poems, I don't get writer's block. It's just an instant, okay, this is the core idea, it has to be this long, it's a short period of time, straight to the point, list examples, done. With books, for me, it's a different story. Because you have to have all these in-betweens. You have to have smaller events that go on that could lead to the bigger events or to smaller events that are just like showcasing backstories for certain individuals, certain characters. You need all these details and all these pinpoints to understand everything. Whereas a poem, it's one, two people at most, maybe five if at very, very, very most. And it's basically example, 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 point, example, 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 point, exa you know, you get what I mean. Sometimes example, point, example, point. It really depends. Sometimes it's A, B, A, B, C, A, B, A, A, B. Like, it depends on what kind of poem you're doing. Um, but regardless, some people have writer's block on that front and do well with stories. It really depends on the person. Writer's block is one of the most aggravating, and yet, it's one of those things that's super aggravating, but once you get over it, you're like, yes! <laughs> it, it, I don't know, this is personal opinion for me, and what I'm claiming may not apply to everyone. Maybe not everyone goes through writer's block in the way that I'm describing it, but I do believe one way or the other, it's one of those, it's definitely one of those things where once you bypass it, achievement unlocked. That's, that's kind of one of those things where I feel like it does satisfy. I don't know. These are my personal opinion. This is my personal thoughts on writer's block. I don't know. How, for those of you who've gone through it, what are your thoughts on the matter? You think I missed anything? Is there anything you'd like to add? Let us know in the comments below. But if there's something that you as viewers in general would like me to discuss, or Pink Fox to discuss, or whoever, um, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to get to it as soon as we can. If you want to check out any other uh, discussion rant type videos like this one, click the link on the side of my head. We're almost at 280, I believe. If not, we're, we're definitely around that area. Um... If this isn't quite floating your boat, but you stuck around to the end, first of all, thank you. Uh, but second of all, maybe click on the link on the other side, and you might find a video that suits your floats your boat a little bit more. In the meantime, I'm gonna head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another. Catch you guys later.